And uh, joining us now with reaction, Florida Congressman Byron Donalds. You know, we live in a, in a woke world, Congressman. We live in a world of cancel culture, right? How come the one exception to that always seems to be black conservatives where it's open season? Because this is repulsive. This is not the first attack against you. As a matter of fact, every African-American conservative that I know goes through some form of this. Why is it tolerated? Because it shouldn't be tolerated. Well, I mean, look, Sean, I think it's tolerated from the left because black conservatives, <clears throat> we're narrative busters. We actually demonstrate a completely different worldview than stuff that the left and the Democrats like to put out. But to be honest with you, I'm actually sick and tired of talking about this kind of stuff. You know, this is something where my staff and I kind of got together, and they felt so strongly about talking about this because, Sean, what most people don't know is I have black staffers and I have white staffers. They come together, they work hard for me in my congressional district every single day. And I really feel bad for them and the other young black uh, people out there who are starting to become more conservative. What stuff like this is about is about stopping them from expressing their political thoughts, their political worldviews. For me, I'm a member of Congress. I'll deal with the, with the hot takes and the shots because that's what I signed up for. But for other black people in America who are starting to come around to conservatism and a limited, and a limited government philosophy, this kind of stuff is to suppress their thoughts and their viewpoints. And I'm sad for them because that shouldn't be tolerated in America. Let me ask you about the debt ceiling. Uh, we have, what, $33 trillion in debt. Um, it is not an imminent crisis. We could probably go a number of months, maybe even till June. However, uh, it's coming. It's pending. My hope is Republicans will have a plan, stay united. Will that happen? Yeah, that's going to happen. We're going to have a plan on this. What the White House has put out there saying there's going to be no negotiations, that's just insane. That makes no sense at all. What we should be doing is making sure, at a minimum, that we get rid of all this COVID spending out of the baseline. That will go a long way to bringing some spending restraint back to Washington, D.C. And then we have to start coming up with other strategies because just continue, continuously going to expanding the credit card is not going to be what's in the best interest of the American people. But we're going to have a plan. We're going to stand together and do what's right on behalf of America. Well, you, you absolutely have become a rising star in the Republican caucus. Uh, we appreciate your conservative views, your good fight, and uh, keep us up to speed. And thank you, as always, for being with us. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.